Well, two teens are in intensive care after their car crashed into a telephone pole early Wednesday morning near Westland. A day later, both teens are still in the hospital. Fox 12 Spencer Shot is live near OHSU. Spencer, what can you tell us? Well, Rayel, I spoke to the father of one of the teens, but he didn't want to go on camera yet because this crash is still just so fresh in their minds. He was able to tell me, though, that his daughter's condition has stabilized some, but her and the other team are still being treated in the trauma ICU. It was just before 1 a.m. Wednesday morning when a car carrying two local high school students crashed into this power pole on southwest Borland Road just outside Westland. We lost. 12 hours. Brandon Burt lives right next door to where the crash happened. I didn't hear it, my wife did, and she described a very loud bang and actually a little bit of a flash. He says where the road curves in front of his house has a long history of being a dangerous stretch of southwest Borland. We've had numerous instances that I've personally witnessed with vehicle wrecks. My wife got rear-ended on this road in front of our driveway. We've had other cars hit that same power pole. While Fox 12 is not naming the teens who were hurt in this crash, Westland High School officials confirmed both teens were students there, and the school is offering counseling services to any students who may need it at this time. And neighbors want to make sure this doesn't happen again. Please slow down. This is a residential area in addition to being a thoroughfare, and we really, really want our residents and everybody to be safe when they come by our home. Again, their parents confirmed that both of the teens are being treated at the trauma ICU here at OHSU. We'll continue to follow the story as more information becomes available. But for now, reporting in Portland, Spencer Schott, Fox 12, Oregon.